You may not realize that there are other satellite connectivity options besides Starlink, ones that provide basic but critical low bandwidth connectivity for emergencies and basic communication. We're going to talk about that today, basic satellite communicators and the new capabilities that are coming to smartphones. Hi, I'm Andy with Mobile Internet Resource Center, and today we're going to talk about basic satellite connectivity as well as devices that support that, like dedicated satellite communicators, as well as the new uh, capabilities that are being added to some smartphones to provide the features that satellite communicators provide. Now, one important thing to note is that we are shooting this video in November of 2024, and especially on the smartphone side, the technology and capabilities are rapidly advancing and being developed. So if you watch this video months or years into the future, uh, what we say here, especially about the uh, smartphone side, is likely to have changed. So check our website and channel for updated information uh, if you are watching this far in the future from when it was shot. So what do we mean when we talk about basic satellite communication and what are these devices designed to do as well as the new features for smartphones? Well, I'll tell you first what they're not, and that is satellite internet broadband. So companies like Starlink, Viasat, or HughesNet, they offer broadband uh, via an internet service provider that allows you to do most anything you can do on the internet. These are very limited because they are very low bandwidth and generally, at least for now, the only things that they can do is basic two-way text messaging or communication uh, over satellites. So very low bandwidth and this uh, brings up some very limited but important use cases that these are designed to excel at that uh, will give you at least some connectivity option in places where you may not be able to get any other option at all. So a low bandwidth option doesn't sound very exciting. So what sort of use cases uh, can you do with this and why would somebody want to get one of these devices or have this capability in their smartphone? Well, the first and most prominent is for emergencies. In fact, these uh, dedicated satellite communicator devices were originally designed to provide emergency communication to people in the backcountry who maybe got lost or needed rescuing or got injured to provide them a way to accomplish that. And that is still true today. And the new phone systems also have that basic SOS uh, emergency services capability. Now, for example, this Zolio and pretty much all the dedicated devices will have an actual SOS button that you can press and hold. And what that does is it sends a signal with your location up to the satellite network to a rescue coordination center that will coordinate with local authorities in your area to come to your location and render assistance. Now, that is a very uh, nice feature to have if you ever need it, and it does give you peace of mind even if you don't ever end up using it. Now, the second major feature that these provide is basic two-way communication, usually via texting. Uh, the dedicated devices do have uh, texting options, uh, depending on what plan you get, and the smartphone options are increasingly coming with uh, two-way texting as well. For example, the iPhone with iOS 18 Plus uh, now supports uh, texting via the iPhone directly via the uh, satellite that way. The uh, third major feature that these have is uh, to provide automatic location data, breadcrumbs, and uh, location updates. For example, with the Zolio or with the inReach and Spot devices, you can uh, do check-ins to give your locations and tell people you're all right. You can have it automatically upload your location at certain intervals so that, for example, if you are moving or hiking along, uh, it will leave a breadcrumb trail electronically of your location for your friends and family to be able to follow you. 
the uh, phone systems uh, support that in some ways. Uh, for example, again, with the iPhone and iOS 18, it does support the Find My uh, functionality of the iOS ecosystem. Uh, the Android devices are not yet, as of the uh, uh, shooting of this video, have that capability, but we expect them to have something similar coming up in the future months and years. So we've mentioned before that uh, the two types of devices that provide this basic satellite connectivity are dedicated devices and increasingly smartphones. Now there are advantages and disadvantages to each. One thing to know is that the capabilities on smartphones is relatively new and is still under active development. So as we noted before, uh, as of the shooting of this video in November 2024, if you watch this months or years in the futures, the capabilities of these smartphone systems are likely to be significantly expanded. Uh, for right now, it's primarily the iPhones that have the most advanced features, although some Android phones are now coming online with these uh, uh, features and systems. So uh, one of the big differences is the future and what capabilities these devices will have in the future versus what capabilities they have now. So as far as which type of device you should use if you need uh, that basic satellite connectivity, either a dedicated uh, communicator or a smartphone, it really depends on your particular case and needs. We'll go over the overview right now, but do keep in mind that the uh, capabilities and features for the phone-based uh, solutions are constantly changing and expanding. Now, the first thing to consider, at least now, as current as of November 2024, is that only certain phones support this capability. That's the iPhone 14 Plus, the Pixel 9 series, and a couple of other Android-based phones. So if you want a phone solution, you need to make sure that your phone supports this technology uh, and has these capabilities because not all do. An advantage with the phone is that usually a phone is something you always have with you. So uh, even if you aren't planning on needing that satellite uh, communication, if you have your phone with you all the time, uh, then it will be there for you. Um, the phone systems may grow to support higher bandwidth. There is, for example, uh, an agreement between uh, T-Mobile and Starlink to provide higher bandwidth direct to satellite communication that could uh, provide more capability and more bandwidth in the future uh, for smartphone satellite communication. Um, one of the downsides with many of the phone systems is that they do often require aiming at a satellite. So it's not where you just have to have a clear view of the sky. You need to move the phone around and aim it in order to connect to a satellite to send and receive your messages. Now, as far as the dedicated device goes, these have a long history and are very well-developed devices and are very good at what they do. They do have that dedicated SOS button. So uh, even if you can't operate a smartphone, you can still press the button on these to get that emergency services. Uh, generally, these have a lot longer battery life than a phone does. So these are good for use over even a couple of weeks without needing to be recharged. Um, they are also tend to be more rugged for outdoor use than a smartphone, less prone to breakage. Now, the downside of the dedicated uh, satellite communicator devices is that it is an additional cost. You have to buy a device. These generally run, depending on which model you want to get, uh, from $150 all the way up to several hundred dollars for the more advanced models. And in addition to that, you need a subscription plan with the service provider that can run from $5 a month all the way up to $65 a month again, depending on which features uh, and capabilities that you want to have. So that is an added expense that so far is not present on the phone systems. Uh, for now, at least, the phone providers are providing 
these capabilities for free of charge, but they may start charging for that in the future. So which option is right for you? The satellite communicator, the smartphone based solution, both or maybe neither. It's all going to depend on your needs. Now, some of the factors that you'll need to consider uh, in making your decision include the satellite network that these devices use. For example, the Zolio and the Garmin Indreach systems, they use the Iridium satellite network, which is a low Earth orbit network that provides global coverage. Meanwhile, the spot systems in iPhone through Apple, they use the Global Star network, which does provide coverage over North America, but does have coverage gaps in different parts of the world. So particularly if you plan to travel and use this internationally, or for instance, on the ocean, uh, you will need to make sure that the uh, service plan and the satellite network supports the areas where you want to go. Now, for most people, probably the phone solution is going to be the best option because at least for now, it doesn't cost anything. It's included in your device as long as your device supports it. And uh, currently, Apple and the other, other smartphone providers are not charging for the service. However, if this is something that's critical to you, you may want to consider a dedicated device. Not only can that provide some redundancy from a smartphone um, in case you need that, but uh, these tend to work in more places. They're more rugged. And the uh, emergency networks that are associated with these uh, tend to be highly experienced and have conducted thousands of rescues and assistance for uh, stranded travelers and hikers. So there is a case to be made that you may want to have both options depending on your particular needs. So that concludes our overview on basic satellite connectivity, satellite communicators, and the new developments that are coming to smartphones, which promise to expand into the future. So if this is something you're interested in and you are watching this video in the future, then we suggest you take a look at our written guides and our content on our website, which uh, have information that is continuously updated with the latest news. Uh, additionally, we would like to hear what you think. Is this sort of connectivity interesting to you? Is it something that you consider critical? Have you ever used this before? Leave us a comment down below and tell us what you think or what your experience is. We'd really like to hear it. And if you like this content, we encourage you to like this video and also subscribe to the channel to get more of this type of content on mobile internet connectivity. Additionally, we do have a website with all things mobile internet related focused on connectivity for those living, traveling, working in vans, boats, and RVs. We encourage you to check out our website. And we do have a membership program, which is how we fund everything we do here at the Mobile Internet Resource Center, including making these videos, testing equipment, providing expert advice and uh, consultations to our members. If that is something you're interested in, if you want to dive deeper into all things mobile internet, then we encourage you to check out our membership program. A link is in the description below. But that's it for now. We thank you for listening. Stay connected and we'll see you next time. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.